All right, everyone, we're going to skip to this jazz game here. So we're going to play game here. See what we got here. Yes, we won. We won again. Yes. Win. Win, I tell you. What the freak? Stuck. Tay Rock, our game with the Lakers is next, and our fans demand we win this rivalry. Please be sure you're happy with our game plan for it. All right, I'll play this one then. Uh, what's our game plan? Point guard has the most, of course, it's Chris Paul. Mm, yeah, seems pretty decent. We're good. Stupid update required at the bottom left screen. <laughs> Hope we had the right game plan because I want this win. All right, let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Hey, Tay Rock, there are a lot of cool new features in my GM this year. Which would you like to know more information about? Oh, come on, man. I'll freaking figure it out later. All right, man, freaking tool. Ah, oh. well, the, our team won anyways. <laughs> you must have a freaking beast of a team. Freaking way I won freaking, what, what was that? Five games I simulated. Uh-oh, we got Blake Griffin on the Jazz. Better to look out. Can't even see the freaking name. The 2K Sports pregame show. All right, let's do this pregame. Greetings, NBA fans. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson, and seated beside me, Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. In this game, we'll see the Utah Jazz against the Denver Nuggets at Pepsi Center. The Nuggets come into this one after the win against the Lakers at Staples Center. That game was a real shootout. They'd like to keep their scoring up, but get a few more stops, too. And while we have a moment here, another discussion topic. Shaq, you are one of the most physical players the league has ever seen. Uh, who would you say right now are the league's most physical players? Sorry to correct you, Ernie. Not one of the most, the most. But anyway, Ernie, to you're not, you're your not question. sorry to correct me. You uh, take great pleasure in correcting me. And one of the most humblest. Elbow sandwich, that's right. So let me go, Ernie. Let's see. Point guards, how about Russell Westbrook? Mm -hmm. Shooting guards, I'm going to go you. with uh, maybe D Wade or Lance Stevenson. Okay. And uh, at the small four, I, I got to go with the greatest of the game, LeBron King James. Well, I, since he took the smaller guys, which is unique, I'm going to take the power forwards, Blake Griffin. And you know what? There you he's go. one of the league's most physical players. Yeah, Blake Griffin. Yeah, he's physical. Uh, he just gets thrown around a lot sometimes. But well, he's not physical. <laughs> crazy. No, but he throws it around too, <laughs> oh, man. Does not. He throws it around. Does not. Yes, he does. He and Zach Randolph. D U Z N O T. Yeah, I like Zach. Right. Yes, he does. And Dwight Howard with is you, physical. Shaquille. And my man Nikola Pekovic. Yes, is one of the toughest bigs I've seen around. And what's Dwight Howard's name? You can say it. S Dwight Howard. No, say it. Super Dwight Howard. Say it with some energy. One Come on, give us a Superman. Superman is in the building. There he goes. Oh, there now. he goes. Now you ticked off the big fella. Uh, that's it for now. Talk to you later. All right, let's play this. Shut down Blake Griffin. Let's go. Shut him down. It's time to shut him down. Ah. Oh. Freaking stupid. We're gonna keep that update required at the bottom there the whole time, really? I thought that was just in the menu. That's bullcrap. Screw that. Freaking dumb. Got the break. No stress in that one. Wow. It almost looked like a shoot around. It looked like freaking was it how well jumped he shot up in the air for that ball. More impressive, Greg, considering it was on the road. There we go. All right. It's rare that you see a team get that hot away from home. The starters for the Utah Jazz. Griffin is out there with Rudy. No. Then there's no. Then it's Kyle Sinner. And it's I nine. hate losing the, the ball. Spot. It's as if the defense just let him go. Um, he'll thank them for that because he got a chance to perform a little razzle-dazzle on that one. 
Utah Jazz, uh, one of the biggest year-to-year -year improvements in the league last season. The big part of that, of course, was their play on the road. And you know, Kevin, they nearly doubled the there we go. from last season by there we 17 go. away from home. And I thought they progressively got better as the season wore on. Here's Gobert following the basket Mo, by Chris Paul. Stop him. Gobert with a screen on Ariza. And Gobert kicks to Burks. No! Gets it to go from oh, beyond the arc. man. Burks has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Ball against Knight. And the wide open shot from Paul. Oh. Makes no mistake Chris on the Paul, jump shot. Son. And really, that's what you want every time down the floor. A simple high percentage shot. Knight kicks to Griffin. Stop him. The best singler. This one. No. That drops. Ah. Uh, and it comes off and it's a break, guys. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't DM up more tightly on the perimeter. Paul against Knight. Paul dishes to a reason. On the wing, Corver. Shot clock at five. Out to the right wing. Kicks it out to Ariza. Oh. Right back with the three of his own, Dang it. but it's no good. Has to Burks. Come on. Knight Give kicks to Griffin. Scoring this time. Griffin a screen on Paul to the inside. No. And Griffin with the score. The assist by Knight. Dang it. Griffin's got his first two points of the night. Four makes on four tries. Everything's falling early. One hundred percent. Can't do better than that. Paul kicks it to Noah. And the there we go. To finish it off, uh, beauty. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. And you look at Joe Kim Noah. Should I mean, one stay of those on hybrid my talents. Position. As a center, he gives you the rebound the and the shot position. blocking you want. But then he also has tremendous passing skills and instincts, and the energy of a mountain lion. Now here's Griffin, and good. Ah, he bounce off the come right on, side man. Of the Griffin's got his second bucket of the night. And it looks like he might just be on his A game today, Clark. And it's Corver in the corner. Back to Paul. There's the feed to Corver. Passes it to Noah. Oh, come on. Really? I just had to go triple. to him. And We're going back to Joe Kim Noah, he Paul, really darn is it. a hybrid. He holds. American, Swedish, and French citizenships. Now at least he's truly a man of the world, and he's worldly on the floor. He can guard and play a lot of different positions. And, and Come on! He looks like a man of the world. He, he has a unique style. There we go. Himself. Nice. But, but take the versatility and the hustle he brings on yes. my team any day. If he's healthy, he's a fact. Well, now go to Doris Burke, who spoke with Quinn Schneider. Doris. He said Chris Paul is a major concern for them because of his ability to lead a team. He said it all starts with Paul because once no. he gets going and gets everyone involved, the whole team becomes a well-oiled machine. Jumping like a moron. That is something we're definitely worried about. Yes. All right, Doris. The Nuggets trail by three. And it's Corver off the drive. Noah High Post. Start it, Noah. And Utah the other way now. Fresh We're getting win freaking against... open when you, you can't know, shoot. They played well enough to win, but uh, to be honest with uh, you, I just felt like their opponent's defensive performance darn it. was shaky at best. Yeah, I'd go along with that, Greg. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard for it as they should have. That update required annoying the crap out of me right with some changes. All right, let's go. Denver's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And Young, here we go. And he was fine. Oh. Two free throws now for him. You know, last season, Thaddeus Young was moved from Minnesota to Brooklyn. Boom. A good move for everybody involved as he helped with the playoff push. Two shots. Young last year, as you oh. mentioned, GA shipped to Brooklyn. Oh. Provided a good punch off the Darn bench. It. And Young is so efficient in his scoring that, that he's a great guy to play heavy minutes off the bench. Shot over 50% from the floor. Yes. Games go, 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 go. The Nuggets trail by four. Watson kicks to Bellinelli. Dishes it to Watson. Forget how to call plays. <laughs> Here's Bellinelli, guarded by Porter. Never get time to play much. 
Mills with the steal. You jerk off. And now in transition is Mills. Here we go. Here's Porter. It's good. It Come on, man. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Yeah, high percentage shots are what they are getting in terms of the attempts, and that's just not going to get it done. They've got to figure it out. Here's Watson following the bucket by the Jams. Kicks to Young. Shoots from 14. Excellent ah. that time from Jones. You love the close out on that possession. Excellent defense. Active, and he made it a very tough shot for him. Oh, right back. The rim, yes. Out. The fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender, but the touch was poor. Bogut. Dang it. The rebound. Very oh. to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. There's the killer two-handed. Dang it. Out. And very little fight put up by the defense as he made his way to the bucket for the jam. They did seem to take the cautious approach, Greg, when it came oh to the Oh, my God. And, guys, it's not the time for caution. Come now. on. I mean, they've got to be aggressive and take some risk to see if they can cut that lead down. Can't get it to go. Oh. Uh, Dang it. Chris Paul told us about the depth of their roster. So important for any team. Our, our bench is amazing. It's so exciting because when our bench comes in, uh, more often than not, if we're losing, they're going to get us the lead. And if we have the lead, they're going to increase the lead. And it's, it's fun to watch because everybody cheers for each other, too. When your starters feel that good about their second unit, guys, that's a heck of a... Oh, my God, I'm getting and beat by 10. And if you've seen Chris Paul got the ball. cheering from the bench... No you know that it's very, very true. And Kevin, that's the kind of team that, that's always Come been on, so much fun no. to Come play on. on. Everybody's really Dang it. for Give one me. another, no matter who's playing. E even in practice, uh, with that Freaks kind of a team, to switch. You, you tend to have more fun. Oh, my God. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Jazz. Tell you what, guys. Oh my God! They're showing Pass us a lot of energy freaking... early on and racking up those fast break points. Yeah, and there we go. Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of Turner. On the floor for Utah, getting going here in the second quarter. Brandon Knight is out there with Mills. Then it's Kyle Singler, and it's Rudy Gobert, and it's Griffin in at the four spot. Gobert. Taking his Come on, all Noah. Teams that are out of it tend to do. Oh. I hate that word, Clark, but it seems to be the one used by a lot. Nuggets I didn't it. really try to hide it last season either. Well, you know, it certainly looked that way. Right around March, they just started sitting key players for no real reason. They go, go, go. it as rest, but it didn't quite look that way. Boom. All right. Burks, he's checked in for Utah. The offense really coming around here in the second. It's about rhythm, Clark. They're up above 50% now for the game, and you'll take that on any night. And defensively, there's still some work, though. They're going to have to shore up. And Singler kicks to Burks. Lock at six. The shot is off. Great defense yes. that time from Go, Noel. go, go. And guys, for the Nuggets, it seemed to come out of the blue for their players. They all felt what the fresh, freak was that, David Lee? Oh my God, that was a terrible rest. shot, so man. Obviously, come on. a bit of miscommunication there. Griffin, that's uh, oh, it. Come on. Straight down. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throwdown. And, and Clark, now's the time to do it. Continue to attack that rim. All up top. He's guarded by Knight. Unloads from nine. Dang it! Griffin sends it back. Come on. Uh. Knight with it. He's picked up by Paul. Here's Burks. Yes, and Knight. Oh, with my goodness. Knight's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. I can't catch up and here. And go back to the Nuggets and giving up a bit near the end of the season. Miscommunications like that can really bother a player. Still, it's a viable strategy. I don't know if it's viable, but it's a strategy that could pay dividends if executed the right way. Knight against Paul. 
a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Ariza outside on the top of the key connects the jumper drops. Ariza's got eight points. Probably wasn't the shot they were looking for, but they'll take the bucket. And obviously, Chris Paul's one of the most highly recognized players in the game. High school All-American, college All-American, NBA Rookie of the Year. I mean, the list goes on and on. Now, here is Knight. He picked up 24 points. In oh, the last yes. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. Paul's running. He muscles it yeah. in the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you there know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. Griffin passes to Singler. Gobert with a screen on Ariza. Knight wide open. The Jazz again. Nice. Well, that defense went from go, 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 go. to no defense at all. And when he's open like that, you don't see him miss those looks very often. Paul dishes to Noah. Boom, he nice. Down. Well, this here is a game. Good run to close the gap. Yeah, they've done a great job to get back within striking distance. Really a solid comeback effort here. Knight kicks to Burks. Back to Knight. Griffin a screen on Paul. Knight, that's a two-pointer. And that basket's gonna go. Goaltending butt! The goal Frickin butt. Right I hit the rim, you jerk time, off. Kevin. Those Screw can be you. tough to gauge sometimes. Big group substitution here for Denver. Andrew Bogut checked in for Noah. Young comes in for Lee. Bellinelli, he's checked in for Kyle Corbin. And it's Watson in for Paul. Jazz also changing it up. Turner comes in for Gobert. And it's Will Barton in for Singler. Now Bellinelli. He had 10 points in the win against the Lakers. Boom! Yes! Assist, got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Utah leading by four. You know, the Nuggets could create their offense, but they still would have trouble knocking down the shots. Just didn't have a lot of dead-eye laser shooters. Every field goal attempt with them was an adventure. Here's Burks, and the Rams are going to roll that unnecessary contact. It's a foul. Oh, one foul. Frick you. Oh, oh come on. That time, and the officials oh, had to suck my nuts. I mean, you can't let yeah. Contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of plays. And that one goes oh, up. Too come from on. That time. Darn it. Putting up the numbers. He has nine points, and he's chalked up one three pointer on the day as well. That's Clark, I'm sure terrible. that won't be the last one. A lot of times he can get hot and stay hot from beyond. Nick Galathis, he's checked in for Trevor Ariza. Utah also making some changes. Jones checked in for Griffin. And it's Mills in for Knight. Burks kicks to Turner. Out of bounds. There we go. Denver takes possession. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. Otto Porter Jr. He's checked in for Alec Burks. The Nuggets trail by six. And uh, 101 left in the first half of basketball. Here's Watson. And he gets there we go. one to go off the front iron. Nuggets did have their problems on the offensive end, too. Something that's rare for them, hitting the open shot and the mid-range shot and beyond being one of them. You, you know, Kevin, how about being last in the league and catching shoot field goal percentage? I mean, got a lot of looks that way, but really struggled shooting only 34% in those situations. Not sure if they're aware of the two-for-one opportunity. Well, they ought to be. I mean, that basic basketball time management. You've got to be aware of your clock and your situation. In the corner, it's Bellinelli. Come on, right back. Who's back up? And the shot there is we go. The Utah lead. Nice. Cut down now to just four points with the basket there for we go. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy. Oh! No! On the basket oh. for Jones. The number of points they've three. scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening. It, it really is, Clark. The defenders need to do a better job of closing those lanes to the hoop. 
Watson, the pass to Young. Oh. And that does it for oh. Gentlemen, I'm here with Brand. I shut you. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ah. Hi again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here, joined by Shaq and Kenny the Jet. Welcome to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Right out of the gates, it was Utah setting the tone. You could see the daggers in their eyes as they went on a 10-4 run to start things off. After a solid quarter of play, they held a 10-point lead. The second quarter wasn't as kind to them, but they still fought through some mistakes to have a six-point cushion at the half. And uh, Kenny, what'd you see out there from the Jazz? Well, quite simply, their bench showed up tonight. And when I say showed up, I'm talking about on the offensive end because they were scoring in bunches. Now, you want your reserves to just at least come in and hold the fort, but they did way more than that tonight. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. Their defense is getting flat out embarrassed. Embarrassed, however you say it, Ernie. I realize they had to deal with a team who was red hot most of the first half, but that's an excuse. You know what? They got to be aggressive. They got to step up on that D. They got to prevent that. They need more effort, honey. And that'll do it for now as the second half of our game is about to get underway. Kevin Harlan has the call. We have All a first right, ball game on go. our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Without question, Alec Burks displaying his skills today. He had created a lot of quality shots for himself in that first half, and he knew yes, when to pass it up when the double team came. And that led to a very high points per no! number four. Come on, for man. That are into analytics. That stat really tells how efficient a player has been. And he's been very efficient. Oh, so far. <laughs> what the freaking heck? Out there with Kyle Corver. Then it's David Lee, and it's Noah in at the five spot. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And, and you see the way Blake Griffin plays? He is a force. Very hard to contain him when he gets in close, just due to his strength and activity. And guys, Blake Griffin has got to be one of the more humble stars in the league. You really hear about off-court issues and in interviews he's engaging. And comes off kind of as a regular guy. That's the way it appears to me, Kevin. The young man has his head screwed on pretty tight and both feet on the ground. He started a uh. class act, and he stayed one. Knight against Paul. Pass to Singler. The dish to Gobert. It's Mine right back. by Noah. And talking about Blake Griffin, one of the more well-liked players in our league, but also there we go. one of the most teed up players, top five in the league for the past four seasons. He's been ejected from several games as well. And here is Knight. Griffin dishes to sink. It's good. And oh, contact on piece the of so crap. Go to the line. A three-point play chance here. And, you know, getting back to Griffin, thing. it's hard to stay grounded in this league. All the money uh, endorsements, ad campaigns, commercials, and so forth, that stuff can take you off track. But I think he's going to be grounded and maintain his focus going forward. And Kyle Singler, basically a three-point marksman. He really lost minutes after the trade to the Thunder last season, a second-round pick by Detroit a few years back. He's always averaged over 20 minutes a game, but with the Thunder, he was kind of banished to the end of the bench, and his play reflected that. Ariza with the bucket. Dang it, I wish I was a three. So it's Utah now. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. Then it'll be a home game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Utah calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Uh, proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. 
If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Ball gets to a reason. Come so on! Four on three as they bring it up. Here's Burks. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. And now a nine-point jazz lead for Denver. They've gone two of four here to start the second half. And talking about Kyle Singler last season, Greg, good point you made. You would have thought the trade to the Thunder would have been Dang it! You know, Clark, they were looking for floor stretching options with Kevin Durant out. Yeah, but so late in the season, he needs to on. On get integrated with all the other players. Those are just a few reasons why he was rarely given the chance to make an impact. Knight against Paul. Corver up top. Noah the screen. Here's Ariza. Yeah. Denver, no good. Jazz leading by 11. Burks the pass tonight. Gobert dishes to Burks. Gobert with a screen for Burks. He feeds it to Griffin. That one a tad oh, offline to the right, on. but drops in for him. Griffin's got eight. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Left side, Corver. Corver missing again. <laughs> oh, my God! To the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. I tell you what, I think he'd be happy if he can continue to get looks like that. Knight kicks to Gobert. And the shot no good, a bit short. The Nuggets trail by 13. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Corver, no luck. And boy, what? He's been struggling big time here in the quarter. Yeah, he's played tight. I mean, you can see it. No flow at all to his game right now. Ariza against Singler, and it's Corver off the drive. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Corver's got four points in the quarter. Now what a second half of the season it was for the Jazz after the All-Star break. They went on a rampage. And the catalyst for that was the defense. Oh, I mean, my goodness. The has got to triple digits against the Jazz after the All-Star break. Knight against Paul. Outside Corver. There's 117 left to play here in the third. Kicks it out to Paul. Five to shoot. Shoots it up. Corver missing again. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. To the paint. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got six assists now in the game. Feeds to Gobert. Nice ball movement by Utah. He dishes it tonight. Griffin a screen on Paul. Lee against Knight. Again, the miss by Knight. The Nuggets trail by 11. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. The pass to Noah. And the lead is down there inside, go. single digits. Noah's got his third basket of the night right there. Knight on the wing, defended by Paul. Knight against Paul. Knight passes to Griffin. He with the block. The open shot, Paul. That misses. No! Shots can Come on, man. And the final period of play just about to start. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. They trail by nine points. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. So on the floor for Utah, they've got Turner, Otto Porter Jr. out there with Griffin, and it's Mills, and it's Barton in at the two spot. Just five on the clock. Porter against a reason. Comes up uh. and gets the block. 
Utah leading by nine, and the Jazz pushing it up now. The basket. Come on! Shot. One free throw coming his way. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Otto Porter. Oh my the God! Of players, his mom, all state in '85, his three uncles won state titles. Deep basketball roots. And how about the fact several of his cousins also won state championships, although Otto is the only one in the family to reach the NBA. Ariza against Griffin. Paul's shot is off. Awesome defense. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Is real. and it's Turner off the drive. And that one's Bad. good. I mean, Mills has got the lead up to 13 now for the Jams. You know, getting back to Otto Porter's basketball family, it really prepped him to compete. Your family is the first place you learn to navigate and win battles in competition. And that goes for sports and life. Ball outside. Ariza right side. Here's Noah. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. And talking about Porter, he certainly has worked hard to improve upon his weaknesses. That's a trait that's often instilled in a man at a young age. And he's not an explosive athlete, but his motor and want to compensate for that. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hey, Kevin. I was able to listen in on what Quinn Snyder was going over with his team. He told the players, let's put our foot on them and keep them down. We've got them exactly where we want them. I want to see you guys slow the pace, use the clock, and stay away from any silly fouls. Mills. And he drops in the way. Oh, the glass. come on. Mills has got four points this quarter. Another gap in the defense found there, and they've really had their number today. And guys, every season there seems to be a player who is at the end of their contract. They'll have talent and they'll be traded to a team looking for an extra piece. It's the ultimate risk-reward move, if you will, in the NBA. Here's what Denver's going with right now. Thaddeus Young. He's checked in for Noah. Bellinelli comes in for Trevor Ariza. And it's Nick Kalathis in for Kyle Korver. Bellinelli dishes the Paul. Denver needs to get off a shot. And then oh. miss by Denver. <laughs> oh my and god. Assets for a player that can walk at the end of the year is the big risk GM's taken. Last year, last season, Clark, uh, it happened with the Rondo trade. And to a lesser extent, the whole uh. Kevin Love deal made prior to the season would fit into that category as well. Kalathis gets the bucket. Utah leading by 10. And Mills kicks to Griffin. And it's sent back by Bogut. Young outside. He kicks to Paul. Another three. Nice. Denver. These defenders had better start closing out on those shooters. That's two in a row, and we call that a streak. Pass to Griffin. They set the pick. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Here's Porter. The shot misses. And Denver the other way now. Young outside. Plenty of space. No oh, are you in kidding off me? The rim. And you really thought that was going to be a gimme but unable to convert. Yeah, and a little self-talk, angry self-talk for himself after that miss. That pass into the paint, that is a work of art there, dead on target. Ball outside. And it's Bogut to top the key. In the corner, it's Kalathis. And it's Denver scoring again. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on the clinic on how to share the ball. And I love the mentality that they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing it. They're moving it side to side until they finally get the one they want. Griffin. And it's Denver with the rebound. 
you know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot, and it's really paid off for them during the run. Mills passes to Griffin. Down low, and Turner kicks to Mills. Picked by Griffin. Shot off the pick. Six to shoot. Mills. Oh, in. yes. Two. Getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. And Young, here we go. Bellinelli with the three. And that's a foul called on Nick Kalathis. That's his first foul. Big group substitution oh, here for Denver. Duh. Joaquin Noah. Uh, come on. He comes in for Thaddeus Young. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Marco Bellinelli. And it's Corver in for Nick Kalathis. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Turner. Yes. Kyle Zingo comes in for Porter. Burks, he's checked in for Will Barton. And it's Brandon Idol for Patty Miller. Here's Knight outside Griffin. You gotta be kidding me. Here in the fourth. Count it. We're seeing that red hot version of Blake Griffin. Corporate dishes to lead. And stolen. Oh by. my god. Oh, intentionally. They're going to have to oh. do that now again and again. Ah. Not in the penalty yet. You had to foul and on that occasion. Uh. Come on. In this situation. And you know what, Greg? Who knows? A few misses at the strike. And they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six point ball game. Free throws go down and the lead goes up. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Oh, They're trailing God. by six. 20 seconds left in the game. 20 seconds left to play here in the fourth. On the wing, Corver back to Paul. Launches it. Singler with uh. the rebound. And they go to the intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They trail by eight. There's ten seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? And yeah, they, they can game plan all they want, but unless they can put more time on the clock, I think this bad boy's over. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what they hope to get accomplished um, with this time out here. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. And so it's Utah uh. with the win. That and was in the a win, crap a game. Win in what and I couldn't even get the lead at all in that game. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke, standing by on the sideline. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. Well, Blake, tell us about the energy. The 2K Shut Sports up. post game show. I couldn't get the lead at all in that game. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaq and the Jet as we present our Jordan player of the game, Blake Griffin. Let's go to Shaq. Uh, what can you say about his performance? I thought this performance he needed to deliver, Ernie. He needed this game. You look at how he's been playing recently, and this was huge for him to come out and have a great night. You can really tell a lot about a player, how they break out of a slump. He responded exactly the way he needed to. Is there anyone in the NBA who's more straight up scary than Blake Griffin. I don't think so. Big, strong, powerful, with the skills to match that athleticism. If you're a defender in the post and you see Blake Griffin coming down the lane, the only thing you think is, uh-oh, the man is just a beast. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you enjoyed the show. From myself, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.
darn it. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, man. <laughs> 